Hello, my name is C, and today I have an unboxing from Jolly Gem Shop. This is the first time I ordered from them. For some reason, I'm thinking they're newer, but I think they've been around a lot and my sense of time is just messed up. But it was like, it came in this tube with, when it shipped, there was an outer box wrapped in that, um, in like the garbage bag type of things, but it was white. So it was really well packaged. And this is like a sturdy tube. I pre-opened this because it was a struggle to get the cap off. But um, yeah, let's get into it. I, let's see, when I ordered this kit, it actually wasn't that long ago. The website said like three to eight weeks for delivery. And I think I got it in two. Um, so it was extremely quick. Alright. Inside the tube, from what I can see, we got some baggies. Looks like they're the ones with the lines so you can write on them. And there's a good chunk. I also got this. I um, don't remember ordering any extras, but here is... A bag of white ABs. Okay, let's unroll this and see what else is in here. Okay, we also got a roll of pink washi tape. I'm gonna add that to my collection. Oh, and a toolkit. Okay, so in here, I'm not gonna completely take it out. My cat is deciding it is the end of the world today. It came with such a cute like little cookie cover minder. So obviously you get your tray. I guess this is a little brush so that if they're stuck you can just move them along. A uh, multi-placer, some wax, tweezers, and a pen with some squishies. Oh and there's another multi-placer on the end of that one. Nice! I'm keeping the cover minder. This is going in the trash. I don't keep my toolkits. I have so many. At this point, it's just sitting around collecting dust and taking up space that I do not have to give up. Awesome. Let's take a look at this. Okay. So this is Whisper of Winter. Rolled up, it came with some double-sided release paper. I'm adding this to the collection. I do this as we go so I don't have to do it later. Oh, gift a bag of ABs. <laughs> That's adorable. Okay, so I didn't order anything extra. <laughs> I remember I asked her, um, it went through like the little, the, <laughs> it went through the chat feature, and I asked if she had any suggestion on ABs, and she said either, it might be better to show here, um, white in like the foreground and background or green for her dress. So my idea was that I have a whole bunch of extra white. I was going to use it in here. Anyways, um, so this is a 60 by 60 canvas. Here's a better look at that full image. I just thought it was adorable. Um, yeah. And we have 29 colors. Not bad. I know there's seven of this one color. Um, anyways, number is just the number of diamonds. This is your symbol on the canvas, as well as the DMC number. Half the times in diamond painting, DMC number matches the floss colors. So it's just an idea, and this is how many diamonds you will use. Cool. Um, I should mention, this is a sticker sheet with pre-cut stickers, so it's easy just to peel in place. And all of these, like all down here and all of here is pre-cut, so you could save these and use those for other projects. I tend to do so. Um, before I look at the diamonds, let's take a look at this. So, we have our canvas. Let's zoom in really quickly and just take a look at that symbol quality. And everything looks super clear. Yeah, that's not going to be an issue. Okay. 
Back out we go. Back, back out. Cool. Obviously this kit is going to be super confetti heavy, but there's chunks where there is color blocking. So like confetti would be right in here where there's tons of color changes in a small section. Whereas can color blocking would be something more like the sky up here where this is all one color. Up at the top here we have Get That Me Time, which is just our little slogan. We have their website. And I believe that's her Instagram. Maybe Instagram and YouTube. Don't quote me on that though. <laughs> we also have our um, SKU. An image of the kit as well as our color list. The edges are scalloped and pumped. So that will help prevent fray. Bleh, that will help prevent fraying. And now we go to the very bottom of the kit. Sorry, this is not going to work well. We have Jolly Gem down here which is shop name, I am so sorry, and the name of the image as well as the artist. This actually looks really good. Um, it's not a soft back like Diamond Art Club has. It is very similar to Jada Gem Shop. I believe they use the same manufacturer. Maybe, don't quote me on that. It's, it's cool, but it's not like a super soft canvas. Okay, next up we have the diamonds, which are labeled with one of two and two of two, so you know how many bags are, and easy to keep track if you have both. This has, I don't know what the 24-2S is. It doesn't say anywhere on here, but this bottom number is the same skew that is on the top of the sticker sheet, as well as in that top corner, so you can easily match your diamonds up if you separate them, like I do. I'm trying to keep an eye on the time. <laughs> I have kept up with my pattern of doing these right before I go to work, and it's been raining, questionably. <laughs> Alright, so we have 762. Actually, let's zoom in just a little bit so you can see these better. I should say, I did get these at Square. You have the option on their website for Jolly Gem Shop as um, size and diamond shape. I always have a preference for squares. In my mind, they look better. Um... So I will always go for squares. They look really good so far. Like I'm looking at these guys right in here. They all look super flat. There's no extra little bit. So they look good. Obviously this kit is going to be a bunch of beige, whites, neutrals, grays. With just some pops of color in her dress, I would assume. But yeah, this looks really nice. Um... So Jolly Gem Shop, here, I'll explain um, what the ordering process was like. So I ordered my kit, um, I believe, October 20th. That was the day that I placed the order. And it arrived to me November 7th. I am filming this on November 8th. Um... So it was a really quick turnaround time. When you place your order, I would assume, this is me assuming, it goes in production pretty quickly and ships out directly from the manufacturer, not like Jolly Jump Shop, shop Warehouse, if that makes sense. So there's a bit of a wait time, but I mean, honestly, it was not bad. It shipped via UPS and that always makes me nervous however I didn't have to pay customs on this one like I did most of my other kits or really anything that ships um UPS so that was nice and these are just little pops of colors I would assume they go in her face another bag of white um, so, like, really quick turnaround time. 
and I'm not upset about that. I saw on her site that she has a Kita from the Lost City of Atlantis kit. I think it's called Voices Within or Ooh, sorry, I said that really loud. Um, I think it's like Voices Within or something. I'm going to have to pick that up one of these days because she was one of my favorite characters. I'm just waiting if there's more Lost Atlantis. Like, Atlantis kits coming out. I'm hoping that eventually someone does some Treasure Planet stuff. Like, I would be the happiest person in the world if someone did a Treasure Planet kit. But that's just me because I was obsessed with that show as a child. My whole family was. Show. Movie. <laughs> I still rewatch it a lot. Alright. This is our final bag of items. I'm going really slow, but I'm just like <laughs> showing off the colors and chatting. But here we go. Some blues. Gray. I can move it up gray. Lots of grays. Totally understandable for the image. I'll zoom past this part because I think you've seen most of these colors. Oh. So that that's my 310. <laughs> there is very little 310 in this image. That's I'm honestly I will work on kits that have an obnoxious amount of 310 it's not an issue okay so the AB that came with this one this is the original base color so when I go through and that's that little person so when I go through I'll probably put this and I'll find some ugh, I'll probably put this and I'll find some more white um you see how there's like all these little branches and there's little bits of white? That is probably where I will put it. Just to give it a little sparkle. So yeah. These all look really good. Nine three nine, which is like your darkest blue. Okay, this makes more sense. Ooh, there is um a ton of bags of 520, which is your white. I bumped it. I am so sorry. And it just keeps going. There we go. <laughs> so that is your white and as well as that AB, which takes up the majority of this piece. I am honestly super impressed with how this looks. I am very excited. I wish I could say, I hope you can hear me over all of this crinkling that I'm doing. Um, I wish I could say I'm starting this right away, but I'm not. <laughs> and I only say that because it is, it is November, almost mid-November, which I am shocked, but whatever. Um, and I have six, seven whips work in progress kits and I want to get down to zero before the year ends so I probably won't be starting this one till the new year but I live in Canada it is winter for the next eight months um, <laughs> there will be plenty of time for me to work on this kit in the new year and still be like on theme for the season <laughs> But this is a gorgeous image. Uh, can I fit you in here? Yeah. We can zoom out while I do this up. Okay, this is a gorgeous uh, garment. What? Stop bouncing. Cool. It's still bouncing. I'm sorry. For anyone who has motion sickness, <laughs> I'm setting it off. Um, this is a gorgeous image. 
I am just, I'm actually looking forward to working on this one because I think it'll turn out beautiful I mean even just looking through here he looks really good her face looks I know it looks scary but I know it's gonna look good I'm excited okay um I think that's all I have to share with you so this is whispers whispers of winter um from jolly germ shop i have a question have you ordered from them yet if so what did you order and what size because i'm so curious anyways thank you for watching i hope you all have a wonderful day if you like this video please consider liking or subscribing and i'll catch you in the next one bye bye